every foot and ankle is unique. And there's a natural spectrum of shapes and sizes that we consider normal or functional. However, there are certain commonalities among feet that help to determine what may be considered abnormal. Part of my job is to figure out why someone hurts or has lost function, and then to develop a strategy to correct any structural damage that may have occurred. In the case of a fracture, we may try to piece the bones together again in its original shape. In the case of a tendon rupture, we attempt to reconnect the tendon ends to restore strength. However, in certain conditions, such as a flat foot deformity, the damage may be irreversible and even progressive, which can then lead to further malalignment and disability. Deformity correction of the foot and ankle is one of my passions. Uh, this often involves restructuring or uh, reshaping the bones, fusing bones together and transferring tendons from one body part to another in order to achieve a well-balanced, stable foot that is more functional and less painful. One of the things that drew me to foot and ankle in the first place is the ability to combine the technical skills of orthopedic surgery with my more creative or artistic side in order to achieve a successful outcome for my patients. So, whether it's straightening out someone's bunion deformity or restoring a patient's arch, these corrective changes are immediately noticeable in the operating room, and this can be extremely gratifying for both the patient and myself.